Yeah, I'm back. So I don't know audience, my narrators. I've been having some technical difficulties. I had to split this um, episode up into two parts. Um, it just stopped recording for no reason. So I was into uh, my final points on. Um, so this is episode 241, part two. But when I share it back on social media, it would be episode 243 this episode, but it's actually just the part two to episode 241. So I was in the middle of my point, making uh, the, my speaking point on how, how Hollywood does our sisters um, in these uh, risque dresses. Um, and I left off, I was making the, uh, my final comparisons. Like we can go back to the 60s and 70s and see people like Aretha Franklin and um, uh, who else? Um, Shaka Khan, you know, wearing revealing outfits. Um, Pam Greer. Uh, so we had our fair share of sisters kind of like dressed scantily clad in all, you know, time areas. But like I said, the reason why they do that or did that did and do that is because when you peel back the layers, it's a Caucasian person back there using their likeness as a tool to peddle their flesh. Um, it's a power play when they do that. So sisters, please resist the uh, temptation when you're in that industry to, you know, stay away from those type of outfits that are scantily clad and, um, on carpeted events and like, you know, something that's not in a movie, something that's not scripted, which is really hard because everything in Hollywood is scripted nowadays. You think it's real, but it's not real. But my point I'm making is like nudity has its place, you know, a time and place and context for everything. But if you're a female rapper, a female R&B singer, um, or a fem- uh, sister that's an actress, movie actress, and it's like, you know, the movie actually doesn't call you to take your clothes off, be nude, don't be nude if you don't have to, is what I'm saying, because these Hollywood devils, that's what exactly what they are, they devils, they're going to try to um, manipulate you into, you know, exposing yourself, exposing your nudity, under the guise of its artistic expression, it's beautiful, it's beautiful art, and in reality, it's pornography, and they're trying to get you to peddle your flesh. That's all it is, and we already see the parallels. With, I just uh, laid out the parallels, how they do with Caucasian women. They don't catch any, you know, blow back, blow black, uh, blow back, negative press, it's all, you know, positivity when they do it. It's saucy. It's um, provocative. It's it's sexy. It's, you know, you know, just everything positive. But when y'all do it, it's trashy, it's slutty, and it's this and it's that. Um, and then real quick, before anybody interjects, well, the rappers do it. It's because the rappers call them, you know, bitches and whores and stuff. And, like, I'm going to stop you right there. Because when the rappers rap about what well, they shouldn't be calling any females bitches and whores, period. That's period, first and foremost. But the majority of rappers, when they're on the road, when they're touring, the majority of their groupies are Caucasian. And that's who they're talking about in their rap songs. They're not talking about sisters. Because the sisters ain't back there backstage. The majority of their groupies is Caucasian. But um, anyway, I digress. I'm going to move on to the next section now. I think I covered my point well. Um, so the last um, section here on the Narrative Podcast 
is my final thought of the day or final word of the day. I flip back and forth on what it's called. Um, it just really depends on like the, uh, the mind state, the, uh, you know, what I'm feeling that day. But I think, uh, I'm feeling the final word of the day. Final word of the day is weather the storm. Everybody has a storm. Like, everybody's going to go through tough times. You're going to see darker days. Um, The thing about storms is, like, you might get drenched. You might you know, get some dust kicked in your face. You might see some wind, but you ain't seen nothing yet because nine out of 10, you're just in the eye of the storm. The full ferocity of the storm hasn't hit you yet. So said all that to say, whatever pain, whatever discomfort you're feeling right now, uncertainty, um, you know, discontentment, Whatever season you're in right now that's not, you know, like all peaches and cream, is going to get worse. It's going to get worse. Expect that. It has to get worse before it gets better, as a matter of fact, because that's how storms do. They get a million times worse before the storm finally dissipates and then, you know, clear weather transpires. So... The situation is going to get worse. There's going to be 10 times more of it, whatever you're going through, that you're not liking. So before you fall on your knees and be like, Lord, why me? And uh, whoever you call yourself believing in and why just me? Don't have that mentality. It's a just you mentality. Happens to everybody. Like if you can look up, you can get up. So your your storm is going to happen. You're going to get hit with a storm in life. But storms break, storms fade, and storms go away. They don't last. There's an old uh, gospel song that I kind of like. I don't know who it's by. Uh, I think the title is I Told the Storm to Go Away or something like that. But um, the... uh, the lyrics are really compelling, you know, but uh, I don't know. I might think of the title at a, at a later that I can't think of it right now. But um, anyway, storms go away. Your bad times are going to go away. You might be down and out right now. Uh, rest assured, uh, one thing's for certain, three things for sure is going to get worse. So you just got to keep your head up, keep your faith. Keep pushing through it. It will go away. But it's going to, like, but if you dwell on it, how bad the severity of it, you know, you're going to, like, you're going to make the storm worse because it's going to throw more and more stuff at you. So if you're tripping over the little bit you're going through now, you know, you're not going to make it out of the eye of the storm. So that's my final thought of the day, final word of the day. Well, I guess I did it in reverse order. I didn't tell you what the section was about. So like, okay, I'm having a kind of a bad day myself, having all these technical difficulties and all. So this section is called the final thought, uh, the final word and the final thought and the final word, as you just heard, is just something impactful, um, wise words of wisdom a gem, a pearl of wisdom, just something to resonate with your spirit, something to promote critical thinking, something provocative, um, something to just resonate with you. That's what my final thought or final word was today, and I just gave it to you. Um, Storms pass. That's my final word of the day. And there you have it, good people. Thanks for sticking and staying with me. We did it. We're at the end of another episode of the Narrative Podcast. So join me next week for another full episode of the Narrative Podcast. And I promise I won't break it down into two sections. I had some technical difficulties, 
like it literally just stopped recording um i couldn't find it in my episode log it was um it kicked it into the draft folder like i didn't think i captured the recording at all so i was looking i kept scrolling through my draft folder did not see it but you know the storm passed we got through it So anyway, join me next weekend for another full episode of the Narrative Podcast. Um, I record every single weekend without fail. Uh, I do random lives during the weekday. So tune into the uh, Narrative Podcast daily, wherever you get your podcast from. Now, uh, this week, I did not have the time to do a, a live. Something literally came up moments before... I was about to go live and something kind of caught my attention away that I needed needed to take care of. It was something of uh, legal um, uh, ramifications. That's all I can say about that. But um, I'm going to turn out on top of that situation. I already know that. But um, anyway, you know, I, that's why I call them random lives. Just when I have time during the week to go live, I go live with you guys. And when I go live, it's just usually um, I'm sharing positive articles that I come across my radar, just giving you positive frames of reference uh, via uh, articles about our people and our culture, positive experience, positive experiences um, designed to like just, um, you know, motivate you and uh impacts you on a positive level because as we're you know always been bombarded with negativity by the media um seeing negativity on the news television movies um so that's what my lives are designed to do is just to share some good news about our people and our our culture that 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 there is good news circulating about us that we're doing good stuff in the world and then um after that I usually uh, go into a commentary on breaking news, something happening around the uh, world. And I already told you um, in this section, series of the narrative podcast, full episode, why I do that is control the narrative and just um, tell news from our perspectives. That's all I do. So, you know, because the media have us looking and sounding crazy. So, um, yeah. Join me again next week for another uh, full episode of the Narrative Podcast. Uh, my random lives uh, to not miss me when I go live. Um, hit me up at Halsey Allen on Twitter or Halsey Allen YouTube. Hit the uh, subscription button notification bell and you will never miss me when I'm live because it automatically uploads to YouTube and Twitter. This um, uh, podcast series or this um, platform that I'm on automatically uploads to YouTube and uh, Twitter. So yeah, that's how you not miss me when I'm live. So another thing, project that I've already done, please go support. I've written a book of poetry titled the uh, black card that's a book of poetry that I uh, wrote on poetizer.com and to purchase it you simply just visit the bookstore at poetizer.com and purchase the book the black card written by me Halsey Allen and then also support my um poetry blog titled uh Hawes's Poetry Corner. The tagline for that is Hawes's Poetry Corner, Poetry with a Passion, Poetry for All Occasions. And when you read one of my poems, you will find out why. Um so that's all my projects. I'm working on tons of stuff. I share share them as I complete uh as I complete the projects. Um so yeah, keep it locked, stick and stay. For another full episode of the Narrative Podcast next weekend. See you next weekend. If nothing else, stay tuned for the uh, live 
editions of the uh, Narrative Podcast. But that's all the time I got for you today. And thank you so much for listening. Family, sending you love, light, peace, and healing energy. Um, yeah, so trying to get my theme music here, family. Yeah, I'm out of here like last year. Halsey Allen and the Narrative Podcast signing off. And it's like that.